Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to the 16th DCTV 23 weekly update show. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. Cobb and Douglas Public Health issued a public health alert due to evidence of community spread in Cobb and Douglas County. Per guidelines from the health department, we continue to encourage citizens to wear a face covering while in public, wash hands repeatedly throughout the day, and practice social distancing to fight the spread of COVID-19. According to the state of Georgia's latest report, as of July 23rd, Douglas County has 1,800 in 90 confirmed cases. And sadly, 44 of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman, Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones and the board of commissioners, we would like to send our sincere condolences to those families affected by the loss. The state of Georgia created a COVID-19 hotline with the sole purpose to answer your questions and address your concerns related to the virus. If you have questions and wish to speak with someone, call the COVID-19 hotline at 844-422-2681. Please note, Cobb and Douglas Public Health has a COVID-19 testing site at the Douglas Public Health Center on Selman Drive. This is a free drive through site, open Monday through Saturday from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30. Also, as of July 23rd, Cobb and Douglas Public Health have tested over 5,200 people. Remember, anyone can be tested regardless if they have symptoms or not. Just visit cdphcovid19testing.org to complete the online testing referral to make an appointment. Individuals who arrive without a pre-approved number from Cobb and Douglas Public Health will not be tested. Cobb and Douglas Public Health would also like to remind everyone that they are now doing contact tracing. Therefore, if someone is contacted by Cobb and Douglas Public Health and notified as a contact to a case, they should go to the new testing site on Selman Drive to be tested. There's a chance if you go somewhere else, it may not be free. Also, speaking of Cobb and Douglas Public Health, after you finish watching this update, be sure to watch my co-host Rick Martin's one-on-one -on -one interview with Dr. Janet Meemark as she continues to provide important local information regarding COVID-19. Thank you, Lena. Douglas County Commission Chair Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones recently launched an educational campaign to mitigate the spread of COVID-19 by providing mass recommendations for Douglas County residents to wear a mask or face covering while in public. You will notice visuals from this campaign on mailers, billboards, and signs around the county. A special public service announcement with members of our local governments began airing on multiple Comcast channels, expressing the mask recommendations. You can also find the PSA on our website, celebratedouglascounty.com. Also, Douglas County has received about 20,000 masks from the state for citizens to pick up. These masks are free and available at government facilities such as the Douglas County Courthouse, Boundary Waters Aquatic Center, libraries, and the Transportation Center. Only Douglas County citizens will be able to receive masks and will be required to prove their residence via driver's license or verbally. On August 8th, from 10 a.m. to 12 noon, Join District 1 Commissioner Henry Mitchell III, District 3 Commissioner Terania Carthen, and Vice Chair and District 2 Commissioner Kelly Robinson for their back to school book bag giveaway right here at the Douglas County Courthouse, located at 8700 Hospital Drive. The event will be offering free school supplies, PPE supplies, and COVID-19 testing from the Cobb and Douglas Public Health. The testing is drive through by registration only. However, for the back to school giveaway, citizens can pop their trunks or walk up to receive supplies. King of Pops will also be here as a sponsor for the event. So please stop by for a cold, sweet treat. Douglas County citizens, please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, and our DCTV23 Facebook page. Thank you for watching. See you next week.